Welcome to Cassiano Easy Math. So this video is about solving another exponential equation. 2 raised to 3x minus 2 equals 3 raised to 2 minus x. And we're going to find the value of x. So we're going to find the value of x. And uh, before we start, for those new to my channel, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Okay, let's start solving the uh, exponential equation. So we have to write it down here again. So that is uh, 2 raised to 3x minus 2 equals 3 raised to 2 minus x. So this term can be written also the same way as 2 raised to the 3x times 2 raised to negative 2. And the right side of the equation is 3 raised to 2x. 2 exponent 2 times 3 raised to negative x and we further simplify we get take this negative exponent right here that is equal to 2 raised to 3x divided by 2 raised to negative 2 so we have the exponent rule over here that is raised a raised to negative m is equal to 1 over a raised to positive m that's what what we're doing right over here bringing down the this uh, numerical value over here of 2 raised to the negative 2 goes down numerator is going down to the denominator will become positive exponent so that's how it works on that one right there and the same way let's do it on the right side of the equation so that's 3 squared divide by since this has a negative uh, exponent again so it works the same way on that that is divided by 3 raised to x so from here now we cross multiply bring all those uh, variables on the left side and the constant to the right side so that is 2 raised to 3x times 3 raised to x equals 3 raised to the second power multiplied by 2 raised to the second power and uh, and this uh, factor right there can be written the same way as that's 2 raised to 3x is equal to 2 raised to x times 2 raised to x times 2 raised to x Two, two, three times. Multiply it itself three times. Multiplying numbers of the same base with exponent, we end up adding all the exponent. So that is equivalent to multiplying. So let's do it the same way. That's equal to two times two times two. Since these are all with the x power of x, so that is power of x. So that's equal to multiply all this. 2 by 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. That is equivalent to 8 raised to x. Substitute so that value x 8 raised to x now to 2 raised to 3x. So that is 8 raised to x times 3 raised to x is equal to 3 times 2 raised to the same power. Since they both have the same power, the rule applies the same way. So that rule is, uh, let's say, a times b raised to m. That means they have the same exponent. It is equal to a raised to m multiplied by b raised to m. So that's what happened to this. All right. So they're combined from, from that form going to this form they'll become this one right here raising to the same exponent so m and in this case is raised to second power so now it works the same way on here that is since they have the same exponent so that that goes the same way to 8 times 3 raised to the x power since they have the same exponent so, so in this case uh, 3 times 2 is 6 to the second power 
and from here the same way 8 times 3 is 24 that is 24 raised to x is equals 6 squared so from here we'll be using the logarithm to find the value of x and this equation can be written the same way as logarithm of 24 raised to x is equal to logarithm of 6 squared and uh, this the exponent x right here we can put it on the front that is x logarithm of 24 is equals logarithm of 6 squared and in here log of uh, 24 equals log of 6 squared is 36 simplify it further to get find the value of x we have to divide both sides by log of 24 log of 24 x becomes since this cancels it becomes log of 36 divided by log of 24 so that's the final answer that's the exact answer and in here there's another way to solve this variable the value of variable x so from here that's uh, 24 raised to x equals 6 squared or that is equal to 6 times 6 is 36 so that's 24 raised to x equals 36 so in here we're, we're doing the uh, logarithm of 24 raised to x to so the base 24 equals logarithm of 36 base 24 since we're getting a logarithm of the base of the same base the 24 this uh, cancels the 24 right there so we go down to we have just it bring this down x right here is equal to logarithm of 36 base 24 so in here we're using the uh, the change of base uh, logarithm formula that is logarithm of uh, let's say let's say logarithm of b and um, base base a is equal to logarithm of b divided by logarithm of a since in here the base is a it will be converted to logarithm of base 10 log b divided by logarithm of a so this is understood as on the base 10 so that's we have that's what we have in our calculator so we'll be using this rule right here that's why we have to from here we simplify the equation so we'll be using this rule on this side the right hand side of the equation so that is x now is equal to logarithm of 36 since that's uh, that's representing this b over here divided by the base a it's logarithm of uh, base 24 that becomes the denominator now that's it, it, the same thing over here a is 24 so it goes down to the denominator that's logarithm of a is 24 If you notice, our solution from the earlier one is the same. Came up the same way, but it started out different way. The second way of doing this. All right, so we have just two two ways to solve this one right here, and they both came up to the same. Logarithm thirty six divided by logarithm twenty four. Okay, so that's the exact answer. If we get on. Uh, our calculator and calculate the uh, numerical value of x that becomes on the decimal form x is equal to log of 36 divided by log of 24 that is 1.12758 all right that's the answer and to know if our answer is correct we have to to check our answers by substituting the value of x in the original equation so we have to check Okay. Then 
the original equation is 2 raised to 3x minus 2 equals 3 raised to 2 minus x. So and from here the value of x is 1.12758. Substitute that one. So that is 2 raised to 3rd power multiplied by x. That is 1.12758 minus 2 equals 3 raised to 2 minus 1.12758 and the value of this of the, le the left side of the equation 2 raised to the 3 times 1.12758 minus 2 is 2.6076 and is this equal to the right side so that is 3 raised to 2 minus x where x is 1.12758 by using our calculator we get the value as 2.6076 so that means it exactly equal all right so that's all for now and uh, for those new to my channel please like and subscribe for more videos i will see you in the next videos have a great day everyone bye